happen? Paul Ingram here with Kali Center. Got a quick sword fighting drill for you guys to work on today. If you don't have a training bowl, that's okay. Just go ahead and grab a rattan Kali stick. That will work as well. If you like training the more kind of sword fighting method stuff, smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so that way you're notified anytime I got some new training videos up for you guys. And also leave me a comment below. With all that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead, grab our gear, and let's get training. For today's drill, we're going to be starting off with the thrust. So I'm starting off with the forehand thrust right here. If my opponent tries to come and thrust back, I'm going to go ahead and come back out with a little bit of a parry, and then I'm going to return a thrust again. If they thrust on the other side, on my outside, I'm going to come back with a parry. When we do these little parries right here, we're using the back kind of corner of the edge, the back of the spine on these little kind of sweeping parries like this. So we come out, thrust on the forehand, sweep it back. Thrust on the backhand, sweep it back. So that way we're training the ambidexterity of that technique, of that tactic, on both forehand and backhand sides. Let's take another look at that part. So from here, we're gonna thrust on that forehand side, sweep it back, all the way across on our left. Thrust on the backhand side, sweep it across, all the way back to our right. Then from there, we're going to cut all the way down the center line, and then we're gonna kind of punch cut it once again. Okay, so there's six movements total with this particular drill. So again, let's give it another shot. From here, thrust, sweep it back. Backhand thrust, sweep it back. Drop it down on the center line and punch it down on the center line as well. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six right there. One, two, three, four, five, and six right here. Let's take another look at this drill from a few different angles. All right, let's go ahead and get a couple reps in together nice and slow. So from here, thrusting on the forehand, we're gonna sweep it back to the left. Thrust on the backhand, sweep it back to the right. Downward cut on the vertical and punch cut on the vertical as well. And then just step right back up and start all over again. Thrust on the forehand, sweep it back to the left. Thrust on the backhand, sweep it back to the right. Vertical all the way through and punch cut down on the center line. All right, once again, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, right here. One more time together. One, two, three, four, five, and six, right there. If you do not have a training bolo, that's okay. We can still train this with the rattan stick. We just have to make sure that we're paying very close attention, that we have the awareness of where that blade edge is at and where the spine of the blade is and, and all that stuff. So remember that when you are training with the rattan stick, that this second knuckle line right here on your hand is gonna represent where that blade edge is at. So right behind that second knuckle line is, you know, right where in that little triangle where the thumb kind of meets the, the hand right there, that is gonna be representing where the spine of the blade is at. So we can still rep this out with the rattan, you know, just the same as if we, uh, you know, had a training bolo. So we have our one, our two, our three, our four, our five, and our six right here. One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? So all this still works. It's still applicable, even with the rattan. You could thrust them right in the face, protect yourself, thrust, protect, smash, and smash. Okay, even with the rattan, this is still very highly, highly effective. So remember guys, one of the things about the YouTube channel here is that I don't always just teach necessarily what is you know, out of our curriculum you know, that we teach and train here at Collie Center. What I like to do is explore out of different styles and systems of Filipino martial arts that I've learned over you know, the last two decades plus of my uh, training and my research and my experience you know, involved in Filipino martial arts. So that's one of the things that I really enjoy doing, which I mentioned on my very, very, very first video I ever posted back over six years ago here on the channel. It's like, this isn't all about, 
you know, fighting necessarily, even though this particular drill does have a lot of fighting application to it. But, you know, not everything that we post is really geared towards, like, you know, practical fighting and all that stuff all the time. A lot of times, you know, it's just fun drills that I've learned from different teachers and different styles and systems over the uh, many, many years of training Filipino martial arts. And it's really about just exploring and having fun. So the whole main purpose of the channel is to hopefully inspire you to get off the couch and you know grab a stick or grab a training knife or even a spoon if that's all you can find and just to try some of the drills out. Give Filipino martial arts a try and you know you don't have to take it so you know crazy seriously all the time. Just have fun with it. Give it a try. You know, explore a little bit in there, and uh, you know, don't be afraid of that. To experiment around with you know different things and, and try out different things. All right, give this one a go. I do hope that you like this one. Smash the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment below. Share it with your collie friends. And uh, again, if you have not done so yet, make sure to just subscribe to the channel. So just smash that subscribe button real quick, and make sure that you turn on your notifications so you don't miss any. Uh, new videos or anything that we have coming on out so you don't miss any drills or anything. All right, I'll catch you guys back here in the next one. Get outside and let nature be your Kali Dojo. I'll see you later.